Hi, I'm Paul Tursley and this is a demo of PT Frame Restorer. Uh, you can use this script to restore damaged or missing frames in your footage. So uh, to install the script, uh, take the download and uh, install this script file in uh, After Effects Scripts, Script UI panels. Uh, you can see I've already got a copy here. This script works in After Effects CS3 or later. Um, so uh, once you've done that, restart After Effects and you'll be able to select it from the bottom of the window menu. Um, it's got a dockable UI so you can uh, drop that in your interface wherever you want it. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create some footage. So I'm just going to create a solid layer with a wiggle expression on it just to create something that's moving. Um, and I'm going to render that out as a TIFF sequence. Uh, let's create a folder. Just render that. So you might use this script when um, you've got file sequences that have got missing frames in them, uh, or you could even use it uh, if you've got particularly bad uh, scratches to, to help uh, uh, restore elements of a, of a frame. Um, so let's um, get rid of all this and we go to that file we created, a file sequence here. Let's um, okay. First, let's, let's open one of these frames into Photoshop and let's. Uh, oops, this, this frame that frame got corrupted, um, and um, let's do another one. Uh, Oh dear, look at that. There's a, a nasty scratch on that frame. And um, let's grab a few of these. And uh, just accidentally uh, oh, delete them. Get rid of those. Oh dear, just lost some frames. Okay, so that's our, um, so there's our lovely footage. So let's bring that into after X. Oops, so we've got uh, eight missing frames here. Let's uh, drop this into a comp, have a look at it. So, yeah, we've got a load of missing frames, and um, there's some other things. There's a nasty scratch, corrupted frame. Okay, so this is all a bit messy. So, um, now there's a few things we can do here. So, if we just start with um, the scratches idea. So you could uh, just use this, if you have a particularly bad scratch, you could just use this to help um, create a clone source um, to clone back into your original. So um, let's um, use this option, re restore at layer markers. So so we have a bad frame here, so I'm just going to add, um, add a marker here uh, on this frame and then uh, I'm going to hit apply Oh, no, first what I'm going to do is, so as you, you just want, this is an example just to use it to restore. So I'm going to make a copy of the original layer first. And then I'm going to restore, let's turn that off, but we're going to restore on onto a copy of the layer. So uh, let's hit apply. And you can see that it's now fixed that, uh, fixed that frame. What it's actually done is it's using... Um, in some pre-comps that's been created, it's using the time warp effect and time remapping to basically recreate that frame from the from the two frames either side. So, um, but if if you just wanted to use it simply to restore an element, because uh, this that time warp effect isn't perfect, um, if I just jump back into a comp here, you can see the you've got a time warp effect applied here, and the script has made some uh, some keyframes. So. Um, uh, but what I could do, do then is if I turn that off and go back to the original source footage and uh, use the clone tool, but select the this um, layer that was created, um, I can then clone back just those elements um, from that um, from that other layer while still actually using the um, the the, ma the main footage layer, so I'm so I'm only restoring back small elements of the frame. Anyway, so um, 
let's get rid of all of that and start again. So that's one example. But um, if we go back and obviously we saw it, we had eight missing frames there. So uh, another thing you can do is find missing frames. So if with the layer selected you hit apply, it's then going to scan through and look for color bars uh, in the sequence. So it says there eight missing frames have been found and you can see it's put in layer markers. And if I just step through, you can see it's put layer markers in on all those missing frames. So um, you could then either use the restore layer markers or, or you could just go straight to that step originally and just go restore missing frames and that will find and restore missing frames. So let's apply that. And um, then you can see that all those missing frames in the sequence have been um, restored from by creating uh, in between frames from the fr from the good frames either side, and you can see that even works when there's more than one missing frame. So there's like three missing frames here, but those have still been recreated from essentially from those two frames either side. Um, you can see here there's still that um, those that corrupted frame and that scratch there. Um, so. Uh, you can keep on stacking this up, but each time, so I could like add new layer markers um, at this point and hit apply, but each time you do that, it'll create two new sub comps. So it would be better to do it all in one go. So if I just undo that, so we go back to the original footage layer, but we've still got these layer markers, but then I just add in, so I'll find those other frames and I'll just add in layer markers on those frames um, and then select restore at layer markers and apply and now you can see that it's basically repaired all of those uh, frames in the sequence so this is just a, a great little tool um, it can help with um, visual effects in terms of um, when you're doing kind of clone paint type restoration and dust and scratch removal uh, but also equally useful if you've um, been given 3d renders that have got missing frames and um, Rather than going back and uh, getting them re-rendered, uh, you can just use this to quickly um, fill in the gaps and uh, get on your way. So one last thing I want to show you is a new feature that I've just added. This uh, new entry here, Reduce to Layer Markers. And what this does is, as opposed to uh, restoring the frames at layer markers, it will only keep the frames that have layer markers and create new in-betweens for all other frames. So a quick example, I have this frame count with um, markers on 0, 10, 19 and um, with the layer selected hit apply and the result is that it now is just keeping those three frames and uh, doing its best to create new in-betweens for the other frames. So um, an example of where this might come in handy is in uh, visual effects where um, maybe you're trying to deal with um, noise. Uh, in this example I've got a um, an imaginary green screen window with uh, some sheen on it that I want to keep but you can see that it's very noisy. Um, so if I pull a key light -like key on this as you might expect the result is going to be a very noisy key. Um, but um, there are various things you can do to reduce that noise, of course, but uh, one option with this script is um, if I just, let's add a layer mark on the first and last frame and uh, with reduce selected hit apply and you'll see the result is uh, all the, uh, there's still grain, but the all the noise is actually gone as it's now just morphing between this first and last frame. So. Um, this obviously won't work in all situations, it might just be something used to create um, a little element of, um, of a key that you'd roto and combine with the rest, uh, or you might need to stabilize the shot beforehand and then um, inverse that afterwards, but um, certainly it's uh, another kind of quite useful tool in the uh, visual effects toolbox. So uh, that's the end of my tutorial, so I hope you find the script useful. Thanks.